All right, everyone, I want to start this video because I want it to be to the victims that are subscribed to my channel. I know I have a lot of victims that are subscribed to my channel and I have a lot of survivors. And the survivors also empower the victims. I want to go over a safety plan with you and I want you to take the time right now and get a piece of paper and write down everything that I'm going to tell you that you need to do. So take the time and get that pen. If you need to go back and rewind this video, please rewind this video. Your voice is not silent and you are heard. You can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline get help today chat with an advocate the number is 1-800-799-7233 now i want to go over a safety plan okay which is very important it is so imperative that you listen to the safety plan whether you plan on leaving soon or need more time to prepare, there's some things that you can do right now to help ensure your safety and keep your plans secret, okay? So let's go over those. Avoid unexplained changes. The general idea is to not make any sudden changes to your routine, okay? practices or other behaviors unless they can be readily explained for example a cover story should be created for why you're setting money aside if they ask you okay so make sure you know you have that cover story in place the second thing is to remember the need to know okay and that means only tell people about your plans if they absolutely need to know and they can be trusted i'm going to allow my passion to come out because this is so imperative that you listen to everything i tell you right now okay Remember, need to know. Only tell people about your plans if they absolutely need to know and can be trusted. So don't just tell people that can accidentally tell the abuser because they're manipulative and, you know, they can manipulate your family and your friends, people that you trust. They're very good at that, okay? So listen to me, please. Limit the number of people that know your plan. Don't let a lot of people know what you're about to do. Even if you trust them. Okay? Even if you trust them. Please listen to me. The third thing is, is know your plan. Think ahead and plan where you can go when you need to leave. Know where to find family justice centers. 211, for instance, the domestic violence hotline number I just gave you. They have free advocates, okay? There's legal resources and other assistance that you can and you are entitled to. They also know how to put you in touch with safe houses, okay? No, it's not the ideal situation. No one wants to be in that type of situation. But you, you are important, okay? Material things don't matter. It's you, you're important.
Okay, so they'll put you in touch with safe houses, okay? Food and clothing, resources, and more. Churches may also be able to provide food, gas, cards, and other resources. Number four, be careful of your browsing history. Most browsers keep a record of websites you visit, okay? That's very important. Be careful of your browsing history. Most browsers keep a record of websites you visit. Whenever you are researching new locations, shelters, or anything else related to your plan, use private browsing or incognito mode, okay? If you do not use the private browsing, go back, delete that browsing history. Download the Tor Browser Bundle to browse securely. It's called Tor, T-O-R, Browser Bundle. Although the Tor Browser Bundle is a secure, private way to browse the internet, be aware that it runs from a folder that may be found. You can hide this folder or run it from a thumb drive for added security, if you know how to do that. My suggestion is go incognito. Now, delete your text messages or emails that might reveal your plans. The reason why I'm stressing all of this is because once the abuser knows that you are planning to leave your life, is in danger. I'm going to say this one more time. Once the abuser knows your plans to leave, your life is in serious danger. And I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of women lose their life. Once their abuser knows their plans. And I see it all the time. So please listen to me. Please. I'm trying to help you. Keep in a go bag. It's a good idea to pack a go bag with enough clothes, money, and essentials to last for a few days. As well as important documents and records. However, this bag must not be kept anywhere that can be found. Keep it at a safe location such as work, a storage locker, a trusted, and preferably not mutual. So that means not a friend of the abuser, not a friend of the relationship. Friend's house, etc., okay? Prepare, but don't spend too much time preparing, okay? Let me stress that again. Prepare, but don't spend too much time preparing. Time is not on your side, okay? The longer you take to prepare, the greater the chance of the detection. He's going to detect what you are planning to do. Life and safety is more important than any possession. Guys, I tell you all the time, material shit doesn't matter. You can rebuild. You can rebuild. Let it go, let it go, let it go. If you need to leave, leave as soon as you can. If you have time to take the bare essentials, do so. If you don't have shoes on your feet, Go, it don't matter. An advocate, the resources out there will help put shoes on your feet, I promise you. I promise you, okay? Even if you just take nothing but your life, take it and run. Please. Please.
And I'm sorry if I get a little emotional, but this brings back a lot of memories, okay? And I care very deeply about you victims. I really do. So bring as much cash as possible. A lot of times they hold on to your cash and I get that. They control the cash. And so that's very hard. And in those circumstances, I understand. But that's why it's so important that you take a little bit of money and you stash it. Okay? You go to a friend and you ask for money. You do what you need to do to get some money. But bring as much cash as possible or know where you can borrow some. Do not use credit cards if the abuser has any way of seeing what's been charged and where. If you borrow money, make sure it's from a trusted friend or relative that has no connection to the abuser. Do not go to his mother-in-law whom you think you can trust. Because she's going to protect her son, okay? And I tell you that with confidence. Tell your kids what they need to know. Let me state that again. Tell your kids what they need to know. Children are likely aware of the violence already, guys. And that's sad. But may not be sure what they can or can't share. Tell them that there's a violence. If there's a job to get to safety, not to intervene. It's their job to get to safety and not to intervene, okay? Tell them never intervene. Don't let them fight for you. So many children are killed because they're trying to protect their mom. Tell them don't do that. They don't need to fight for you. You need to fight for them. Teach them how to find a safe place and call 911. That's what they need to do. Establish an emergency word to use with your children, which would indicate that they need to get an established safe area. That means come up with a safe word to use that the abuser's not aware of so that your kids can go Act like they're going outside to a friend, anything, and, and they call 911. Document the abuse. Take photos of injuries and save any written or recorded threats. Yes, it's very hard to get recorded threats submissible to court. But when it comes to certain life dangerous situations, the judges will do exemptions and allow that, okay? Keep a journal documenting incidents, but make sure the abuser cannot find that journal. All of this information should be kept in a place inaccessible by the abuser such as a secure email account know what to do if you're in immediate danger move away from anywhere with dangerous objects such as the kitchen or bathroom do not let them get you in the kitchen or the bathroom okay they love to back you up in a corner. Don't go to those places. Please. Listen. 
to me. If possible, secretly. Sorry, guys, it just. Secretly designate an area of the house as secure by moving any dangerous objects of it. This area should also offer clear escape routes. Make sure you're by an escape route. Know your escape routes. So when you know it's escalating and you victims know when it's escalating, know that escape route. Plan ahead for which routes offer quick and safe escape routes. Practice the routes with your children and establish a code word so they know when to escape and call the police. Make sure they avoid wearing necklaces or scarves whenever possible. Understand to keep this code word secret that you share with your children. So you need to establish a code word for them to go and escape and call the police. Make sure they know to keep this code word secret. Avoid wearing necklaces, okay? And scarves whenever possible. Don't ever wear a necklace or a scarf. Secure weapons. Keep guns locked up and unloaded. Secure bladed weapons. Get all the knives out of the house. You deserve that. Program 911 into your phone. I also did a community post on an app called Aspire. Go to the, if you have an Apple phone, go to the Apple phone um, store and download Aspire. If you have an Android device, go to their store, download Aspire, A-S-P-I-R-E app. It's a weather app and a news app that it looks like. But there's very important information in that app once you type in a secret code. Now that app is not going to help you if you are in immediate danger. I want to stress that. But that app will save your life. And I promise you, it will. If you listen to me. So you don't have to dial it. You program the 911 into your phone. If you need to secretly get help, you can pretend you're ordering a pizza or some other food delivery. In most sizable cities, 911 operators can find you using your phone's location. So know if you are in one of those areas, if you call 911, but don't say anything. They will find you if possible. Just be careful of the speaker volume. Keep your speaker volume down, okay? Keep your speaker volume down at all times. And then if you need to turn it up, remember to turn it back down, okay? You can also teach your children to call 911 and not even have to say anything. Let the 911 operator hear what's going on in the home. I'm trying to save your life because your life is so important. You don't deserve this. 
Your children don't deserve this. And I'm telling you right now that you put up with a lot of abuse for a lot of years. And I get it. And people try to blame the victim and say, oh, what? She stayed in it. Couldn't be that bad. I know. I did it for 12 years. Okay? I know. It's not easy. It's not. And even going to authorities, it's so hard. You're conflicted and you're confused. And I get it. And I know. And I understand. And I promise you, I do. But I also know that you deserve better. And I also know your children deserve better. You have to break that circle. Your children have probably even started siding with the abuser. Just to be on the abuser's side so you're feeling attacked even more. And I get that. But if you really have a talk with your kids and the ones that you especially trust, okay? And I know these are your kids and, and it's terrible to say that, but it's true. You do a safety plan with your kids that you trust, okay? You download that Aspire app. Please. I just went over a whole safety plan with you. Know that there's so many resources out there. I have a P.O. box. You can also write me. I can get in contact with you. The key to stopping domestic violence. No one likes to talk about this. No one. But we have to talk about this, guys. We have to. Too many lives are taken every day. Innocent lives. Please listen to me. Here's your sign. You press this video for a reason. And I'm giving you your sign right now. I'm giving you your safety plan. And I'm telling you, you don't have to be silent anymore. Enough is enough. Love your children more. And know that you deserve so much better. And know that you are so beautiful. Please listen to me. I care so, so deeply. I read your comments. And I wish I could grab you through the screen and just grab you and just show you how much you are important and how much you are loved and know that there are other victims advocates that share the same passion and the same empathy that I share with you I am not alone I am not the only advocate that has this heart okay There are so many survivors that share this pain, this confusion that you're in. We've been there. We've done that. And we also look back now and say, what the hell were we thinking? Because they have your mind in torment. You are tormented because you want your family to stay. You want to keep that family and you're hoping he's going to change but he's never going to change and I promise you that he's never ever 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 going to change never what family doesn't stay because of their kids but know that you're doing them more harm by staying you are doing them more harm 
please listen to me. Please. You click this video and God's given you this sign. Take it and listen to it. Because I truly believe that God has a greater purpose for you. And I truly believe it. It'll take you about two to three years to really get fully back on your feet. But don't let that discourage you. And when I say that, it's because you will no longer be vulnerable. It'll take about two to three years for you to no longer be vulnerable. Those are the facts, okay? And I only like to speak facts. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Once you do leave, it will take you about two to three years to not feel vulnerable to the abuser anymore. But I promise you, once you don't feel vulnerable anymore, you will look back and you will thank yourself for getting out, for saving your life, and for saving your children's life. I'm giving you your sign right now. Please listen to me. Please. You're in my prayers, and I pray for you all the time, I promise. And you will get out, and you will empower yourself because you're already taking the step by watching this video. You're taking those steps. You click this video and there's your sign. God bless you and your children. And God bless you and keep you safe.